Hi, I'm Brita, the Questioning Quilter, and today I am going to teach you how to make this beautiful and versatile Celtic rose quilt. You can make it with charms or scraps or fat quarters or even layer cakes, and it all starts with this really easy pinwheel block. And stick around to the end where I show you what this would look like if it were made with different fabrics. So we're going to start with four half square triangles, each that are trimmed down to four and three eighths by four and three eighths inches. We're so simply going to turn these four half square triangles into a pinwheel. You'll sew these together. And now you'll have a pinwheel block that measures eight and one quarter inches by eight and one quarter inches. So to disappear this block, we're going to cut this into thirds. We're gonna cut one and three eighths inches from this center seam. In case you're wondering why these odd three eighths inches, it's because this block has to be cut into exact thirds. And the four and three eighths inches allows me to start with a five inch charm, turn it into two half square triangles and trim them down. Now, if you want to start off with a different size half square triangle, well, I have a chart on my website and the link is right here. I will also have the link down below in the description if you want to do that. So we're gonna cut this. Oh, I almost cut it on the wrong line. You have to be careful. That's why I put the tape here. And now it's all cut up. We have half square triangles, bar blocks, and a pinwheel in the center. Now I'm going to turn this into a house block. And a shout out to Sandy at Quilters by the Sea in Rhode Island for coming up with the great name. So we're gonna start, take two of the half square triangles and start making the roof. I'm gonna take the other two half square triangles and finish making the roof. So the four half square triangles make this chevron, this roof kind of thing. Now we're gonna make the left side of the house. We're gonna put the walls up. So here's the walls going to take the last bar block and make the front door. And next to the front door is this lovely quilt, this lovely pinwheel quilt hanging next to the front door. And finally, we have this happy little cloud floating overhead. So we're going to sew these pieces together and get this block. To make the block that I'm calling a Celtic rose, you're going to need four of these blocks, which would be four pinwheels, which would be 16 half square triangles, eight five inch charms, or two layer cakes. You just arrange them, put those pinwheels to the center, and like this, you have the rose, and when it's all sewn together, with different fabric, of course, it looks like this. Now, the next step is to just go to the design wall. Just sew the motifs together and you get this beautiful quilt. Now, this is when I would normally show the quilt with different fabrics, but that's going to wait for just a minute because I know there are some overachievers out there who want to step this up just a little bit. You know who you are. Well, I give Zoom lectures to quilt guilds and one of the things that I teach is the concept that you don't have to sew it together the same way you cut it apart. Now, what does that mean? Notice how this whirly gig is made with four different fabrics. What if before we sewed this block together, we took these four corner pieces and used them to make a whirly gig that was all one fabric? And then if we did that to all of the whirly gigs, it's nice, right? But wait, there's more. What if we took these four little pinwheels from the center of the rose and traded them with the other roses? So, too much work? 
or totally worth it? That's for you to decide. Now, I said that I would show this as a scrap quilt, and here it is where the scraps are just arranged randomly. But what if we grouped our scraps by color family? So for example, here's a rose motif made with just red scraps. And here's what the entire quilt might look like if you sorted them this way. You let me know which one you like better. Now, for all my Quilts of Valor people out there, here it is in red, white, and blue. And if you're looking for a simple two-color quilt, here it is in blue and white. Stay well and happy quilting.